Hi Leo, this is going to be your love reading for the month of May 2020. We will be checking your energy, your the person you're dealing with, their energy, your recent past, near future, advice and outcome cards. And uh, I just want to remind you guys, these readings are general. If they don't resonate, please feel free to check your other placements. And uh, otherwise, if you'd like a personal reading, they're only $15.00. Check the information for that in the description box down below. Also, I wanted to, for the ladies that are watching, uh, I do I did just start a girl talk group on my website, on my blog, where we can discuss uh, any girl issues, any problems that we may have, you know, like dating issues, whatnot. And uh, it's all free, of course. You just need to sign up with your email and just feel free to post whenever you like. It's a private group. So only approved members do get to get in. Also, if you guys do like self-help uh, blogs, I have a I have my blog for that, and that's also in the description box down below. Uh, I love writing. That's actually originally what I love doing, but I can only write about advice and things that I have been through. So a lot of people like that, and I think if you are into stuff like that, please follow me and check that out. Okay, Leo. Nine of Wands. Came out sideways, but... Ace of Pentacles. Nice. Not bad. I think you're just focused on your finances right now, Leo. Knight of Wands. You might even be getting a lot of offers and you're walking away from something. Two of Pentacles. In the Ten of Cups, wow, Leo, amazing energy. I think you have a lot of options right now. And uh, you have been, you know, putting a lot of effort into your love life for the longest time. And now you feel like, you know what, I'm just going to focus on other things for a bit. And that's the twist. As soon as you start focusing on your finances, your health, and your stability, your abundance, all of a sudden, there's so many offers of passion just coming in on the horse, right? Knight of Wands. And then you're like, damn, like, sorry, didn't mean to swear, but that's just who I am, guys. That's just who I am. Nine of Wands, say, because, like, it's like when I was putting so much work in and I felt so tired and exhausted and it was like I couldn't find one person I could connect with. Now, all of a sudden that you're like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to focus on something else. And that is exactly when all these offers coming in. And I'm saying all these offers because you're juggling. Okay, month of May, you're going to be popular. You are going to be getting a lot of attention, a lot of offers of love or passion. And I definitely see emotional fulfillment. I am very happy and excited because I'm a Leo, sun and moon. Um, so this makes me really happy and optimistic about myself too. But I definitely see a lot of offers coming towards you. And... Uh, that's amazing you know that's how law of attraction works you guys because like as soon as we stop focusing and being so attached to the outcome of something which i think you were but you aren't anymore that's when the resistance goes down and we start manifesting what we really want and you know your finances are looking good your um, stability your abundance is looking good it's just a very confident energy that i'm getting from you i'm getting all hyped up here However, right now in your current energy, um, I do see that you're letting go of some stuff. You are walking away from something. Um, you're walking away from secretive people. You're walking away from people who were emotionally closed off. It, you are walking away from something that you had put in a lot of effort and you had a lot of hopes for something. And you're walking away from it. And like I said, right when you walk away, there's so many blessings that just start manifesting. And you're like, whoa, all I needed to do was shift my focus? Great. How did I not understand that? And that is something we all learn on our own. But this is basically you walking away from something. And you know, that also kind of gives me the energy that you might even be rejecting a lot of people. You might even be just telling people, hey, you know what? I don't even have time for this. If you're not offering me something real, real, a proper date... I don't want to deal with this. Two of Pentacles, I do see you juggling with people. And then we have the emotional fulfillment with the Ten of Cups. That is family, long-term commitment, wish fulfillment, your manifestations, your blessings just coming in. And I'm getting that it's coming in really fast. And I'm not going to lie, Um, this whole month, I actually have had some people reach out from my past. And not just one, multiple people. 
and it was really creepy to me but then i was looking at this post today on instagram um you guys should follow me on instagram i share like affirmations and stuff all the time um that's also in the description box down below uh i was then i saw this post that the month of may is equals to nine and that's what we have the nine of wands right that symbolizing symbolizes kind of you know almost there type of energy but also like a lot of things resurrect from our past and a lot of emotions may resurface but in that time we need to like stay positive we need to stay focused on what we want and you know keep our energies balanced and when we do that blessings come in we get to the 10 10 is the final step when it finally happens you know the last step of whatever you're manifesting last step of whatever you want wish fulfillment you guys so let's see who are we dealing with so i'm gonna do with a specific person now so whoever's on your mind this is going to be their energy how does this person feels about leo the devil whoa okay so they definitely view you they feel like they are chained to you leo they feel like they're chained to you they cannot break away from you um, you know, this is also depression, procrastination, obsession, and, you know, that addicted, addictive energy. So this person could be addicted to thinking about you all the time. This person, or it could just even be multiple people because there are multiple people. But uh, whoever this is, like the person that we're reading for right now, the person who's on your mind, they are obsessed with you is basically what I'm getting. And they just feel like they're chained to you. They can't get you off of their mind okay and we'll see more why does this person view you and they might even see you as someone who is like very tempting but also emotionally closed off like you might not be open to this person because i think your focus is on your finances your own health and stuff and that's why this person might feel like that you're just like hard to get you're just non-attainable amazing that i say that because i was i can't remember which reader i was watching because uh, I was watching Leo for myself, and someone said that you are acting, I think it was Tyler Tarot. Um, so he did say that you're acting like you're unattainable or something, and that's like how this person kind of views you, like you're, they can't break off or break away from you, because they're always thinking of you obsessively, but they're also, they also feel like they can't get to you, the two of swords in reverse, which means stay optimistic, it's also basically having faith in yourself, being decisive, but also don't uh, cause any self-deceptions to yourself is what I'm getting. You know, like blindfolded, cutting people out, but in reverse, it's like, like trying to look at everything from all perspectives. This person uh, might be having a hard time, like I think this person is trying not to think about you. It's kind of funny, it's like this person doesn't really want to think about you but they just can't get you off of their mind they might even be trying to go for other people but then when they do they're still thinking about you or comparing yourself comparing you to them or them to you all the time and it's like man like yeah the seven of swords in reverse so if you were dealing with someone who played a lot of games uh, this person is dropping all their swords and they're not going to be tricky with you anymore they are going to be very straightforward now because that's like a trickster clever energy but i think you caught this person off guard it's like whoever this person is you just shook it all up like i don't know how to say this but it's like this person is just curious about you this person wants to get to know you and they just they are not going to play any games they're not going to try anything with you they're going to come to you straight they're going to come to you clear because they can't stop thinking about you and they know that they need to make sure they're not playing any games or you will cut them out and it's like i might you know it might be that you have a lot of eyes on you leo right now and it's like you have a lot of options and that's why this person feels like that they need to be really straightforward and match your level because they want to win you they want you and even when they try not to want you because i feel like you're not giving this person enough to go off of they just can't stop thinking about you. Nice energy, Leo. Badass. Ooh, okay. Everything is fine. Yeah. <laughs> That's Ten of Swords. And see, you have Ten of Cups. This person has Ten of Swords coming up. And like I said, you might even reject people, their offers, if you feel like they're not good enough. Um, 
and I'm seeing this person is just kind of like watching you on the internet maybe on their phone and feeling like they have no chance with you anymore and feeling abandoned disappointed and just defeated they feel like they can't get to you and they feel defeated they can't stop thinking about you but they also can't get any communication out of you properly and you know energies can be vice versa this is a general reading and so I could be reading for like a certain group of Leos if this doesn't resonate guys get a personal reading this is amazing energy though and then three of wands yep this person is definitely this could be someone long distance from you and they might be trying to really hold themselves back because they feel defeated and they feel like you're unattainable and they can't play any games or any tricks and i think that's what this person normally does when they want someone um when they are so obsessively could be a capricorn that you're dealing with or you could have that in your chart it's so funny guys that's my rising capricorn um but I promise I always detach my energy from the readings, but it's, this resonates a lot with me right now. But I'm intrigued. I have a lot of people on my mind. I am juggling. Just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> but I definitely see that this person thinks about you a lot. And uh, even though when they try to break away from it, they can't. And it's like their games, their tricks that they normally use on girls or guys to get someone that they want usually work. But on you, it feels like it's not going to work. And that is kind of like leaving them in this this like defeated energy they feel like they can't do anything and they feel like this is over for like later this month you might even reject this person and then this could be someone at a distance from you because you see that woman is standing there and just looking at the bigger picture kind of waiting for her ships to come in and i feel like this person's just waiting for you to give them a little hope is what i'm getting What's the possible outcome between this person and my Leo? And you know, energies can be vice versa. I'm saying that again. It could be you that feels about feels this way about someone. And then someone is juggling it in this energy. But Leo, I definitely feel like you are walking away from something. And I think that's what's unlocking this level of manifestation for you because it's like you finally are walking away and freeing yourself from something that was holding you back and leaving you in so like tired and feeling emotionally exhausted and you're walking away from it and you're exploring your options and there's so many things coming at you and i'm not even getting you're exploring your option it's like you just have options even though you don't want them even though you're focused on other things they're just like there they just keep coming in one after another you say no to one person another one comes up Right, so possible outcome, I got three cards fall out. Five of Wands in reverse and Nine of Cups. I think, Leo, you're going to choose to stay single. Because um, it's a little greedy energy, though. So I would say, like, don't be greedy. If you do meet someone who's really sincere, I would say give it a shot if you feel something for them. Um, don't lead people on just to entertain yourself, is what I'm getting. Don't breadcrumb someone. And, you know, like, get them obsessed with you and then be like, okay, bye, I got what I wanted. Um, Seven of Cups in reverse is also, like, making a decision, like, not really not choosing to explore your options. Because I think you are focused on your own blessings, your own uh, money, your finances and all that. You're focused on something else. That's, But you're very optimistic about this. It's like your blessings are coming in. Don't get cocky about it is what I'm getting. Okay, your blessings are coming in because you have gone through a lot, especially when it comes to your love life. You did put a lot of work into it, which is why this is like the doors are being opened now. So don't take this blessing for granted and go into this like casual energy where you're just like, yeah, I'm just not going to take anyone seriously. I'm just going to satisfy myself and I'm just going to indulge in my own thing. This could be drinking and, you know just doing your own thing casually dating but not taking anyone seriously and not giving anything more than just conversation you know uh, not really sharing emotions and outcome for you and this person is that i don't think you're going to go with this person though um i think you're going to choose to stay single because i'm getting a very cocky energy from you and i'm getting that you shouldn't be cocky don't be so greedy leo good things happen don't like be overly optimistic uh, do be nice to people, do stay kind, you are one of the nicest, generous zodiacs of all, and then you have the five of wands in reverse, I don't think you want to put any effort in this connection, and that is exactly why this person had the ten of swords here, because this person's getting hurt and feeling defeated, because I don't think you want to put an effort, 
or share your passion with this person right now. Your advice, Leo, for the month of May when it comes to your love life. I'm sorry if I was speaking too fast, guys, but I got this really, like, oh, I'm ready, I'm ready type of energy from you. Like, I don't know, I got this really hyped up energy. So, the death card in reverse. Resisting change. Don't resist change is what I'm getting. Don't be scared of things changing. There might be some changes happening in your love life and or just in within you, with your emotions and just in your life. Um, there might be a lot of changes happening. And the reverse means resisting change and this means going through that transformation. Don't resist change. That's your advice for the month of May. Don't resist uh, stepping out of your comfort zone. Don't resist uh, transformation remember we're growing if we stay in one place too long that's called being stagnant then we don't manifest and we are not aligned with ourselves and our goals and I do think you're very focused I think just don't get too don't start taking this really good energy that's coming to you in May for granted and I don't think this is for your love life only I think this is your finances your health is everything it's like you're finally letting go of whatever was holding you back and you're moving forward your advice is to not resist change. If things are changing, don't let them, like, change with them. Like, go with the flow kind of energy. Explore yourself. Explore how far you can go, you know. Don't resist change. That's your advice. Now we'll get an affirmation card here. What do you need to be mindful of? This was a beautiful reading, you guys. Just make sure you don't get greedy remember because like as leos usually want is commitment right so don't forget that i mean yeah it looks like you have a lot of options and you know that can be a little overwhelming at time because you just don't know how to like keep everyone like how to like explore that sometimes it can be hard because i feel like with me being a leo sun and moon i feel like i give my energy to one person at a time I can't really focus on multiple people at the time. I get really uh, annoyed and I get really imbalanced with, within myself. And then I just kind of step away from everything. So just remember what you really want and don't resist change. Okay, you just like flew right out of my hand. Personal growth. I think that is your focus and that is what you need to stay focused. As I move toward greater consciousness, I feel old thoughts and habits fall away. Like training wheels on a bike, they help me get to where I am. But now that I can ride, I don't need those slow and crummy wheels. Except when I'm making bike analogies. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, that's a very good affirmation for you to keep in mind, okay? So that's your reading, Leo, for the month of May. That is your love reading, but it's like a general too. It's like everything type of reading. It's a beautiful energy. Um, if this resonates with you guys, please like and comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.